Okay, let, let's make a leap now into the, the digital uh, space. Uh, your purchase of MySpace at the time shocked a lot of people. To spend $500 million on something that at the time people didn't even quite get what it was and you, you had a, what seemed to be a fickle youth audience that had jumped from Friendster to MySpace, might jump to something else. Why at the time did you think that there was a real business there? So what was your thought process in getting into that? Because you've been way ahead of people. The timing was pretty clear uh -huh. two, two and a half years ago. Uh -huh. um, it suddenly became apparent to me that uh, we were living in an absolutely booming economy and print advertising, and for that matter, television advertising was not growing at the rate it normally would have in the past. And you only had to look at where the money was going. Well, there was a lot of money going in it, so we said, it's time to move, move seriously. So we looked at it, dozens of things, and we came across this little company called Intermix, uh, which had, well, I don't know, half a dozen uh, sites of various success, except standing out of that was MySpace, which had grown in months from nothing to 20 million uh, registered people, and kept it was growing fast all the time. So um, we decided to, to take that. Uh, we thought it would tie in also with Fox Sports, which has a very good and a very large young audience. Um, and it, it took off. And then, actually, it, it only earned 51% of them. But they had a firm option about the other 49% from the founders for $70 million. So we really faced this under the theory for a little and you could discard, we might be able to sell the other little sites for a total of 100 million. But, uh, it was, um, and it's just gone from grit. It's grown faster than we expected. We've had to almost put the brakes on it and say, look, we're physically just handling this traffic. Of course, we just need a lot more hardware, a lot more service, and serving farms and so it's not a vast amount of money, 50, 60, 70 million dollars, which I think we'll have to repeat again very quickly. Um, but uh, we're now with 150 million a one. Or that was two weeks ago from this game. Over two million a week. Uh, kind of a good problem to have, right? 20% of it, perhaps a little more now, uh, is coming from our new markets in, uh, in Britain, in France, in Germany, in Italy, Australia. Uh, we're number one in Britain already. Um, and it's um, it's extraordinary. The advertising has gone from simply enough uh, to, well, on a net basis, say $25 million a month, but growing every month, growing like almost 30% every quarter, quarter, quarter. Um, and then next year, uh, we'll be kicking it with the research revenue, the research revenue from, uh, from Google. Uh, so, you know, we'll be, we think MySpace, or together with IGN and, uh, and, 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 and with our Fox uh, Sports, you know, we'll be getting very close to a billion dollars in revenue. I mean, the rap against it initially was there's no business model. And you did the Google deal and people said, aha, okay, there's an advertising model. And now I think, to the extent there's a rap, it's that the, uh, the audience is maturing, you're already getting older people, and you have fewer younger people coming in, and because it's a, it, there's very little barriers to entry and it's a fickle audience, uh, a lot of people are moving to Facebook. So, I mean, are you, are you worried about how quickly that audience moves from one thing to the next? No, we don't think they are. Uh, we think a lot of young people, the college kids, are undoubtedly going to Facebook. But, the same with us. Uh, I think a lot of people are on two sides. Facebook, if you're a college student, you pretty much need it. Um, and uh, it doesn't mean so that they don't stay uh, and enjoy all the things that you can get. Um, and uh, we have to be very, very competitive. For instance, when uh, Google put YouTube and politely uh, sort of refused to, to, to share it with us, um, we just went down there and said, this is the very good really work at our, our video site. And uh, we got our best engineer up there, and they, they work night and day for a week. And now we've got, you know, we're very clearly the number two to YouTube, and we probably have 60 to 70% as many uploads as they do. Uh, 